Most people quietly scroll past Google Maps and don't think anything of it. But last month, it made me over $26,000 just helping local business owners with this one simple automation on Google Maps. And it's not just me. You can see a whole bunch of other people in my community are crushing it. These are all people helping local business owners get Google reviews. You can see Balin signed a $10,000 setup deal. You can see two onboarding calls, four demo calls, books, first testimonial video, first client signed. People are crushing it in the community. Frank's only been in the community for 70 days. He already has 26 clients. This isn't drop shipping or some BS crypto scheme. This is just a simple business model that actually works. It's not easy, but it is simple. Shut up and take my money. And I don't have some coaching program or 997 course to sell you. I actually want to give away all the stuff that I've used to get to $26,000 a month for free. All I ask is that you drop a like and a comment down below for the algorithm. In this video, I'm going to go over how I get clients, how I onboard clients, and automate the entire service, and then the white label software that I use to make this whole process seamless. Before we dive into actually getting clients and setting them up and getting them to pay you month after month, I want to just put this in perspective to show you all the people that are already winning and already having results. This is High Level's SaaSpreneur Award. You can see I've got it right back there. You can see Review Harvest right here, and I was a winner last year in 2024. I'm down here somewhere with all these other 400, 500 people. If I just look up review, there we go. Review Harvest right there. You see, I won this entrepreneur award and there's 400, 500 other people that won. You have to have at least 100 recurring active SaaS customers to win the gold award. It's 500 for the platinum and I think 1,000 for the diamond. And so you can see people are doing this. This is not some hypey, scammy thing. This is legit. Like People are actually having success. Over 500 people won an award last year. And so if you can just kind of follow this simple business model of setting up this one automation for local business owners to get them reviews, it is totally possible. It's not easy, but it's totally possible and it's super simple. So at this point, you might be like, this sounds really technical. It sounds difficult. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I'm just a beginner. I'm just trying to make an extra thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars a month on the side. Like this sounds like a big endeavor. And here's the great news. And it's beginner friendly because there's this software called High Level, right? So what High Level is, it allows you to, let's show you all the features here. They give you all of these features that normally business owners are paying you know, 10 or 15 different softwares for, and it combines it all into one platform where they give you each, they give you different sub accounts. So you can have unlimited sub accounts on the $297 a month plan or three sub accounts on the $97 per month plan where you can set each client up on a different sub account and they could all pay you $100, $300, $500 a month depending on what you're selling them, right? And the great part is, is that if you're a beginner, they've gone through the process of building out the software, hiring the developers and everything, and now you can just slap your logo on it and it's beginner friendly. And the reason why I love white label for beginners, like white labeling a software or something like that for beginners is because you don't have to worry about the product side of things, right? To make money in a business, you need to have like a product or service you have to sell, right? So that's high level. High level providing that product, that, that software, that service that we're providing, High Level's built all of it, right? We just have to figure out how to set people up on it, which is pretty simple if you've used the software like that before. And even if you haven't, you can learn it in a couple of days if you actually focus and sit down and don't convince yourself you're, you're not a techie person, right? And so now all we have to do is figure out how to market and sell, right? So instead of having to do product, market, marketing, sales, all that stuff, and also hiring and paying people to do this sort of stuff, we always have to worry about is marketing and selling. Right, which is simple. It's not easy. It's simple though. And so if you can just kind of put your head down for three to six months. You can figure these two out. And you don't have to worry about this third one, which is a huge time saver. And if you, you see that you get a 14 day free trial with high level, but if you sign up with my link down below in the description, you'll get an extended 30 day trial. You'll get my snapshot, which basically what a snapshot is, is that it gives you all the stuff I built out for all my clients that we work with for review harvest that pay us a hundred, three hundred dollars a month just for reviews. You get all the templates, all the automations, all the scripts, all that stuff baked in. You just use my link down below and I'll send you all that stuff over so you can just plug and play your business name, your logo, whatever. You also get access to my community, with like 600, 700 people in it. They're doing the same thing so we can all learn from each other. And then two to three coaching calls a week with me so that I can meet you where you are and help you get set up and make sure you start making some semi-passive income. But you're probably thinking, why would a business owner pay $100 to $300 a month just to automate the process of getting reviews, right? Like, I get it. It saves them time. They're supposed to rank higher on Google and get more customers. But seriously, like, our business owners actually want to do this. So what I did is I just pulled up reviewharvest.com. I pulled up all our Google reviews. And now we can go through and read some of these reviews. So Jackson said, as a small business owner, Review Harvest has been a huge asset to us. We've seen great results in such a small amount of time already. We look forward to continuing our partnership with Clay this coming year. David Treadwell said, highly recommend. Clay was super helpful over our Zoom session and helped with the entire setup. Even installed a widget on my website to show off reviews. Excited to start getting more reviews than I was. 
Um, Scott clients that I could not be happier. Within the first three days, over half my recurring clients left for reviews. Pooh Bears said, Clay and Carly are awesome. I signed up the same day and I received a few reviews. Onboarding was smooth and effortless. Um, you can just see it just keeps going on. And Angela said, all I can say is, wow, over 100 reviews in just days. I always tried to get my clients to leave a review myself, but would slack or forget to ask. Their method works and I highly recommend. And so just by reading these reviews, you can tell like, these business owners are more than willing to pay good money to take this off their plate and start getting the reviews because a lot of them really do struggle to get their customers to leave them positive reviews. You're probably sitting there saying that all sounds great and nanny, but how do you actually get them the reviews, right? Are you going to show us that part? Well, yep, here we go. And just so you also, just one other way you know that I'm not faking this and I actually do this for a living and I actually own Review Harvest and help people get Google reviews. These are a list of all the sub accounts in my high level account. If I go ahead and just try to export all of these, you'll be able to see 287 accounts. And so I'm not, I promise I didn't just go create 287 fake accounts to um, show that as proof, but I just wanted to go ahead and add some more validity there. And so when it comes to doing this, what you need to do is you need to make sure you have a high level account, right? If you haven't already, sign up my link down below. You'll get coaching, you'll get my snapshot, you'll get a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna make this journey way easier for you. Also, obviously coaching calls with me every week and stuff like that. So if you click on create sub account here, um, this is in your agency view of high level, right? So it's important to know that high level has an agency view where you can kind of zoom out and see all your sub accounts and all your clients. And then you have the sub account. You can go into the sub account. So we're going to create a sub account, which would you know show up here. Snapshot, right? So we want to make sure that you download my Google review snapshot that I'll um, just email to you automatically um, once you're prompted to join my community, if you sign up my link. And then you'll be able to either add the details of the business that you that said yes, and they said they want reviews. So you can just add their details here manually, or you can go ahead and search them up. So we could search up like tree care. There we go. All right, so you find the tree care business. You might not be able to find them on Google Maps. No worries, just add them manually. And then from there, you wanna go ahead and add their business details. So this is gonna create the business details of the sub account you're creating. This is not adding them to the user. This is not sending them an email. It's just creating a sub account. So I'm gonna add some dummy information in here and we'll move on to the next step. All right, once you have added the information of the business, you wanna click on add sub account. From there, it's gonna prompt you to kind of still, you're still gonna be in the agency view and it's gonna show you kind of managing the sub account from the agency view. And so within this next view that it's gonna show you here, you can add a card on file, you can turn on SaaS mode where you basically automatically rebuild them for all their text and email expenses and stuff like that so you don't get stuck holding the bag there. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and switch into a sub account. I'm gonna show you kind of what an onboarding call would look like. So you either wanna you know, meet with them in person and get them to pull out their computer, or you want to get them to hop on a Zoom call and get them to share their screen. That's just always how I've done it. But to add them as a user, you wanna to go to settings and you wanna to go to my staff. And then from there, you just wanna go ahead and click on add user and add their name and email and stuff like that. From there, the first step is getting them to connect their Google business profile. So you'll have this custom dashboard. This will show them how many review requests they've sent out and stuff like that. That's all automatically included in the snapshot. But if you're not on the 497 plan, it's not going to come through automatically because high level does not allow multiple dashboards. That's not a me thing. I wish I could get it to you. That's just a high level thing. And so if you go to Launchpad, they'll be able to click on connect their Google business profile. So you say, hey, click on Launchpad, click on connect. They'll be able to log into their Google business profile. That's going to allow us to respond to the reviews, get their Google review link, all that jazz. From there, we want them to click on contacts and we want them to upload a list of their previous customers, right? So this is where we get a little bit tricky here, but you need them to go to their CRM, their QuickBooks, their booking system, whatever they use, wherever all their customer information is saved, you need them to download as a spreadsheet and then click on import contacts and you want to go ahead and add all their contacts through here. We're going to need that when we do the review reactivation. So the first play in our playbook is to do a review reactivation where we reach out to all their previous customers slowly over the course of a couple of weeks to get them a whole bunch of reviews up front. So like, oh, wow, they're doing a great job, right? And from there, what we want them to do is we want them to click on marketing and we want them to connect their social media accounts, right? So this is going to allow us to boom after they connect their social media accounts. This is going to allow us to click on boom, post reviews. What do you want to post? We only want to post five star reviews, obviously. We can upload a couple of photos, their logo, stuff like that. And we can post those reviews on top of those photos for them automatically. So when they log on Facebook next time, they see we've posted, they're like, oh, great, they're still doing work. I'm still going to pay them, right? So from there, the only other thing we um, we need from them is um, just some photos, their logo, stuff like that. A lot of times you can just grab that from their Facebook. But that's pretty much a pretty good onboarding call. If you can get integrated into their CRM, that's going to be really huge. I have a whole other video on CRM integrations and how to do that. Basically, all that means is 
after the customer they get, they're getting added to the sub account so that we can automatically request reviews. So we're consistently getting them reviews so they don't have to add them manually, right? And so just look up on my channel, like CRM integration, and you'll find some great videos on that. From there, the onboarding call is pretty much done. And what we want to do is we want to click on reputation. We want to go ahead and click on settings. We want to turn on AI review responses. So we make sure reviews AI is turned on where we can automatically respond to all their reviews. You can create separate agents with different tones, different prompts to respond to the negative reviews versus the positive reviews. We want to go ahead and make sure we grab their Google review link and then go to the brains of the sub account, um, which is the custom values. So custom values control this whole entire sub account. These are baked in um, with my snapshot, right? So you only get these if you sign up with my link down below in the description. And basically what these uh, custom values do is they control the way this sub account behaves based off the customer, right? So we have the Google review link, we have their photos, we have their logo, all that sort of stuff. But then we get into some really specific stuff like how many times should we follow up, right? So every time a contact's added, how many times should we follow up with them for review requests? And this is gonna be different based off the business every time, right? If somebody just works with a customer once and they don't work with them every week, you know, we probably wanna follow up three or four times um, to give them the best chance of getting that review. Whereas if they work with a customer every single week or every two weeks, we might not want to follow up at all because they're going to be added every two weeks until they get the review, right? And then we also have some notifications of tracking how many times, how many review requests are they sending out every week? Because if, if they're not adding customers, we're not getting them reviews, they're going to churn. And so we need to say, I expect them to send about five or 20 reviews, uh, review requests every 14 days. If they don't hit that threshold, we'll be notified before they cancel so we can fix the problem and make sure they're getting reviews. Um, from there, all you want to do is navigate to their contacts um, and select all their contacts and just upload them to the review reactivation. So there should be a select all button right here. We get a review reactivation. It's going to slowly start to reach out to them. And so you'll be able to get them a bunch of reviews up front and those they'll, they'll be stoked on you, right? And like you can see that the results we get for people are crazy. If you go to reviewers.com slash results, um, you know, 2,800% uh, increase in reviews, uh, 40 reviews to 458 reviews, 27 reviews to 817 reviews, one review to 468 reviews. Like these review reactivations are powerful. And once you couple them with ongoing service, once you get a good integration, you couple them with an ongoing service where you're constantly getting them reviews, the numbers can just get wonky. Um, and that's how they pay you for months and months and years and years. A lot of our clients now have been with us for over a year um, and have only been doing this for two years. So I've got some clients that have been with me since the very beginning. Um, and so yeah, that's how you get people to reviews. That's the actual meat and potatoes, setting a business up so they pay you every single month. So now what you're probably waiting for, how do you actually get customers? How do you actually get these business owners to be interested in what you're selling? And I wish I had some magic pill that I could give you for a thousand dollars in a 999 course and sell it to you, but I don't. Okay, this is actually just what I did. I'm gonna give you the information for free, give you the scripts I send out. This is legit how I did it. And so step one, what I recommend to everybody is get proof, not profit, right? Get proof that you have helped this business go from X reviews to Y reviews or helped them you know, get this amount of customers, this amount of new calls from Google before you worry about getting paid. That's That just served me really well just so I could get reps under my belt so that then I felt confident enough charging and selling, selling the service to people, right? And so how I did that was friends, family, phone contacts, Instagram followers, all that sort of stuff. The message I sent out to our network to like for warm outreach or whatever was pretty simple. Hey name, launching this new business slash service to help business owners get Google reviews. This allows them to rank high on Google so more people can find them. I'm doing it for free. I just want to get some feedback. Do you know any business owners who'd be interested? Make sure you say, do you know anybody who'd be interested? Not, are you interested, right? You're not really soliciting them. It's a small tweak, but even if they own a business, you want to ask if they know anybody, right? If they want it for their own business, they'll just say, yeah, I'm interested. And if they don't, they might send somebody your way, right? After you go ahead and get some people set up just from your warm network of people already know, like, and trust you, now we can go use that trust to go start making some money, right? So I use my network first, and then I went to my area. So I did cold outreach to my area, uh, my local area, but I was able to use being in the same local area to leverage some of that trust. So you're gonna have a certain amount of trust if you can sit down with somebody face to face, or if y'all go to the same church, you know the same people, or you have some mutual friends, just saying that you are from their area is gonna generate a lot of trust, okay? And so I recommend reaching out to people locally in your area 
And then from there, step three was kind of turn, turn it on steroids, which was using all the proof that you've gotten from your network, from the local cold outreach, and now go ahead and do ads. So run ads to your local area. I live in a place that has like 15,000 year round residents. And I was able to go from about 30 to 60 customers just by running local ads. And I did that in about two months. And so the cold outreach script that I, you can screenshot this, the cold outreach script I used for you know, start reaching out to people cold in your area is this one right here. And then you can turn that on turbocharge by doing ads. And then the hardest transition I probably made was going from local ads to national, right? Nobody knows you, nobody trusts you, nobody likes you. People, you have worse show up rates to the calls, you have worse close rates, um, it's a harder sell because they don't know you from anybody. And so that was one of the hardest transitions I had to make. Um, so that's why I recommend starting locally. And if you live in an area that has 100,000 people, you could probably grow a 10,000, 20,000, even $30,000 per month business just staying in your local area. And I wanna let y'all know, I don't wanna be like those YouTubers or other high level affiliates out there that just tell you you can make $10,000 a month overnight. It's so easy, so amazing, great. I wanna tell y'all that this is hard. It's a simple business, but it's not easy, right? Just to illustrate that point, I wanna show you mutual.io. You know what mutual.io was? It was the first version of Review Harvest. I started it like three years ago, and then I quit it for like you know a whole year because I didn't actually give it the time of day because it's hard, right? Like I struggled to get customers. I struggled to like, you know, get people's card on file. I struggled to set it up and actually get people reviews because I didn't know what I didn't know, right? And, you know, I spent an ungodly amount of time on this infographic that really never did anything. I think I probably sent it to a couple people. And so just let you know, like during this video, your emotions might be high. You're like, oh, this is so exciting. Great. And it totally is possible. And I give all the training, I give everything away possible so that you can get your own results. I mean, I already have people in the community. If we go to our wins, we have people booking meetings for clients this week alone. You know, first free trial customer, ATP approval. That's basically getting your phone numbers verified and stuff like that. Facebook ad wins, got my first client, 23 clients on board. You see people are getting results, but you can see like Connor said it best, it takes time and effort and a lot of earning. It took him seven months to get to 23 clients. But imagine you probably might've already spent four years at college getting you know just an education that when you leave you might be able to get a job paying you forty three thousand dollars hour fifty thousand dollars a year depending on your degree you know obviously if you have a legit degree you're good but if you really truly build this this can start to create some semi-passive income for you and it is difficult i just want to i just want to be realistic with you i just want to make sure expectations are set properly if you are considering getting started with a simple not easy but simple business model that can eventually make you some semi-passive income uh feel free to sign up with my link down below in the description so if you sign up with my link to high level you'll get an extended 30-day trial instead of the 14 days you'll get access to a community of almost 700 people doing this, a very similar thing and we're all learning from each other everybody's really engaged in this community helping one another out you'll get access to all my templates all my scripts in this classroom we have coaching call recordings we have integration training we have training on, on you know, our old reviews course we have the new reviews course that's literally step by step so days one through seven walks you through how to have everything set up by the end of your first week in business on the calendar we have four coaching calls a week one with the facebook ad experts three with me and yeah, feel free if you use that link down below in the description you'll get access to this community and everything for free and if you upgrade your plan of high level to the 297 or the 497 with that link down below you'll also get access totally for free and if you already on the on the highest plan of high level feel free to just use the school link uh, to sign up directly there but thanks so much for watching this video if you want to watch the full in-depth nine hour video where i show you how to set everything up day one through seven feel free to check out this next video peace